you know what? You know, you, you watch a game and you're like, ah. But at the same time, yeah. I am not too bothered about this loss. Uh, I don't know about you guys. You know, Shogren was guaranteed eventually to give up some goals. Nashville's a damn good team. And the goals weren't bad. Like the first one, sure, you might want that glove hand save, but eh, all right, give it to you. Um, what was the second one? Was that a nice tip, I think? That's a good goal. Oh yeah, it was a beautiful tip. All right, cool. Um, third one, nah. I'm not actually angry at that one either. Fourth one, obviously, Forsberg slips it in there, uh, a la Matthews, but just not as smooth. And then Duchesne on the two-on-one, and then whoever it was, Tenen or whatever, Trennan in the empty net. Okay, fine. Six goals. Now the Leafs three. All right, Marner, nice little shot there. Good work by Matthews stripping Forsberg. Uh, second goal, Matthews gets robbed by Saros. So that's going to be a hat pick. And then what does he do? He, he tucks it in. Great. Great hand-eye coordination, great job finding the puck. And then Marner scores again with about four minutes to go to cut the lead to 5-3. Leafs lose. But why does this happen today? Why? It happens, as in the Leafs having to pull the goal with four minutes to go, because Kyle Clifford, who's looked good the last few games, might have just moved, removed himself from the lineup, because it's him versus like four Preds at their blue line, and he decides to hold someone's jersey. What are you doing, Kyle? Then Forsberg scores, and the momentum the Leafs gain from Matthews' goal, from Spezza hitting the crossbar, is just negated. And they lose, they're down 4-2. You know, they have to press. Mikheyev's back there on D, which is scary at one point, which is the Forsberg shot pass thing. And Duchesne scores, who Duchesne was looking great, and he was angry at the Leafs all night for some reason. Maybe thinking back to Ottawa? I don't know. Anyway, Leafs lose. Shalgren finally loses a game that he starts. But does this mean the end of the world for the Leafs? No, not at all. He made a ridiculous save on Duchesne in the game. He, he, was, he was okay in a 6-3 loss. Also helps that Nashville had Saros, who's brilliant. Um, maybe concerning that, you know, the Leafs did get the shot counter back into it when they were trailing and trying to you know, get back in the game. But it wasn't the best that they got so far behind in chances again. Um, but it's like, maybe they are throwing Shogger into the wolves and saying, hey, let's see if you can do it. Um, I still feel they, they need to make a deal, but I don't want whatever's happening with Florida, Tampa, and Boston. My God, what a... All futures at, out the window. Florida, don't have a first till 2025 now. Um, they'll also win Tippett as well. Uh, Boston trades a first, uh, a 2020 17 first round pick. Uh, I forget what the guy's name is. A couple seconds in there for Lindholm. They re signed him though by, it was an eight times 6.5. Holy crap, okay. Um, at least it's not more, I guess. And then Tampa, we all know, they just said, here you go, here's a 2023 2024 first. We'll take Hagel. Uh, good pickup for them because he signed for two more years after this at 1.5, but geez, that's a big haul. Um, but if you can do it, you do it. Toronto, I don't know if you can do it. Um, though, you see what Philly got for Florida, from Florida for Giroux, because Giroux said, I'm only going to Florida. Maybe Mark Giordano needs to do that, and it drops. Uh, like, he doesn't leave Seattle, and the only way they do it is they're going to have to trade him to Toronto for something weak. I wouldn't mind Giordano back with Toronto. Uh, it just gives them more depth on the point, and hopefully Mazin comes back, back as well. Maybe you make a deal for a forward, but I don't think you need that. I think it all depends on Andre Kasha after him getting that elbow uh, by Duchesne. Accidental contact. Duchesne had the puck. It was just unfortunate. But Austin Matthews did say after the game, I think I saw on Twitter, like, he's glad that, you know, he saw him walking around after the game. So there's a positive. Um, overall, the game, I'm indifferent. I'm indifferent. Let's just see what happens at the deadline on Monday. Yeah. All right. Leafs lose 6-3. Always, though. Go, Leafs, go. Comment down below your thoughts on the game.